Mini splits. What type of mini split do you need? What types of mini split options are available to you? If you're looking at mini splits and you're wondering what mini split is the best for me, today I'm going to cover mini splits. You're watching HVAC Tips for Homeowners. I'm Tad, and we're going to be talking all about mini splits. I've got some Samsung multi zone equipment beside me, and we've got a bunch of different air handler choices for options for indoor units in your house. I'm going to be giving you the scoop on mini splits today. Before we start today's video, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell ding so you know what I'm doing. If you want help with your project, you want tech support, then click that join button, become a member. Go down in the comment section, tell me I joined, and I'll give you my email, and that can lead to contact with me. All right, let's go ahead and start today's video. Here is a multi-zone piece of equipment that feeds several air handlers. And we're gonna be looking at the different types of air handlers. This right here is a ceiling cassette made by Samsung. It's a four-way ceiling cassette. And you can see there's brackets and it's got all thread and unistrut for that unit to be mounted above a ceiling. It doesn't matter if it's sheetrock, if it is a tongue and groove, if it is a drop ceiling. And in fact, the uh, 24 by 24 inch cassette body will actually fit right in a drop ceiling. So this cassette is tied to this outdoor unit. And this outdoor unit has got four ports here. I'm sorry, three ports, one, two, and three. So you can actually attach three units to this two ton outdoor condenser. And we're gonna look at controls here in a minute, but let me show you the second type of unit. This is a ducted, um, a slim duct air handler made by Samsung. And this can be mounted. I've actually mounted these above ceilings in attic spaces. I've actually put these above drop ceilings and I've also installed them in crawl spaces. And I've had the outdoor unit um, outside of the home and then the ducted air handler in the crawl space. It's got a built-in pump, 29 inch lift, just like the cassette. And you can see this right here is the supply. And then this is the return and there's a filter right there. Now, let me show you a really cool indoor air handler made by Samsung. This is called the console. And one particular application that comes to mind when I look at this um, floor mounted, wall mounted system, this console unit, is if you have a upstairs area that has a knee wall that's four foot high and then your ceiling kind of slants upwards to uh, the top then this right here would be great to mount below uh, the ceiling kind of against one of those knee walls on either side where you couldn't do a wall mount then you have this type of indoor unit to choose from that sucks air in the bottom and pushes air out of this top vein here this right here is a cabin where we installed a ducted air handler made by Samsung. Let me show you the inside, the old unit, and then the new ducted unit. So this is a perfect application where we put that ducted air handler in the crawl space. Little 600 square foot cabin. There's only four six inch vents here. Those are four by 12s. There's the return. Thermostat was gonna put a wall mount right there to point this way but the ducted air handler worked out great. So this is the old thermostat. Now we got a new Samsung thermostat. If I didn't have the existing duct work, then I could have done a console unit, maybe in between a set of these windows. Console would have worked great right there. Since we've only got about 600 square foot, our load is about 18,000 BTUs or one and a half tons. So we chose to go with that ducted, but the console or the wall mount would have worked great for this application. Old outdoor unit, old indoor air handler, and then indoor coil. Love the way this turned out. New outdoor unit, new ducted Samsung air handler line sets, drain, wire. And I love the fact that they have the bottom of it not covered. So they use the brackets on the side to hang it. And now if I need to get in to the blower to replace a blower, clean the wheel, I can do that now. Even got a filter rack that they made. That is awesome. Able to use the existing ductwork, and we were able to upgrade from a conventional heat pump to a high efficiency heat pump. And what does that mean? That means no more heat strips, 
that means we reduce the electrical consumption. You can see if we open this up, this is where the filter is for this console. And consoles come in 9,000 BTU and all the way up to 18,000. This is a 9,000 BTU. We've covered the four-way ceiling cassette, which blows around all four sides, sucks in the middle, the ducted, and then the console. And these three indoor air handlers, three different types, are all going to that outdoor unit made by Samsung. This is a VRF heat pump. We have a, for our four-way, we have this wireless remote controller. For that slim duct, we have this advanced wired controller made by Samsung. And then we can use our Wi-Fi adapter for our SmartThings app. So this Wi-Fi adapter is able to be added additionally for use with your smartphone, your tablet, or your computer to be able to operate these air handlers um, using that app. So we've got two single zone splits made by Samsung here, and we've got each outdoor unit connected to an indoor air handler, and we've got two different indoor air handlers. Let's go over the differences. So the first indoor air handler is a Quantum 2.0. It has built-in Wi-Fi, and it is a 23.5 SEER unit. Really nice air handler. It displays the indoor temperature and your set temperature right here. This right here is a wind-free model, and you can immediately see a difference in the front cover here because there is thousands of little perforated holes. And the great thing about the Winfrey is if you have an application where you have a studio, you're a producer, you want it to be extra quiet and you don't need that, that air blowing on you directly, what's great about this Winfrey is before the unit hits its satisfied temperature, it will close this vein and then let the le rest of the air kind of just um, fall through these perforated holes. So Winfrey model here is 24.5 sear, so you get about a sear more than this quantum and the difference here of course is this would probably be quieter and you wouldn't have such direct airflow on you if you wanted a quieter option for your office space for your studio for your art a room that you do art in your mud room this is a good option so the wind free model but if you don't need that then you can get the quantum and they both have built-in wi-fi so that's really nice you can use the smart things app and control this wall mount air handler, this heat pump mini split system made by Samsung from anywhere. Both of these wall mount air handlers come with wireless remote controllers and each wireless remote controller will control the other. What's great about having so many different options for indoor air handler choices is you have an option that fits an application where you might not have had an option for that. So you might need a ducted air handler in part of your house, but in the other part, you may be able to use one of these wall mount air handlers, or you may be able to use one of these cassettes, or you might not have enough room for a wall mount, but you've got enough room for this little floor wall mount console. So you'll notice there's a vent here below, and then there's a vein right here. During the cooling operation, this vein supplies the cool air, but during the heating operation, the heat not only comes from this vein up here, but it also comes from this little grill below. And that is because, of course, cool air will fall and heat rises. So really good design feature. I love this console unit. And it's great for places where you can't install a wall mount, of course, and then that cassette or ducted unit. I'm going to show you right here is where the line sets are coming in to this console unit and then the drain of course gravity drain when you can i do not like having accessories like condensate pumps because of course it's extra maintenance and noise so when i can get away with doing gravity draining that is what you need to choose over a condensate pump but there are many condensate pumps available and if you'd like to learn more i've got a video on aspen pumps and how to install check that out on my playlist hvac tips for technicians okay so i've got all of the air handlers in the heating operation. And this is blowing some nice warm heat out of those four veins. And then got the console blowing some heat out of the bottom and out of the top. 
so it sucks in right here this is the return this right here and this right here is the supply and it's running a hundred percent so quiet awesome I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something about mini splits. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave those down below in the comments. I always take the time to answer all of my viewers' questions. If you need help, you need tech support, or you need help with your project, then join. Click that join button. Become a member. Let me know in the comments. Say I joined, and I'll give you my email, and that'll lead to contact with me. If you need more information about mini splits, like how they work or how to work on them, then go check out my playlist, HVAC Tips for Tech technicians. I've got a bunch of videos to be able to help you learn more about the HVAC industry. If you need help like how to size ductwork, how I price equipment, how to size equipment for a house, definitely become a member. I've got members only videos that I do for my members to help them with their specific needs. If you want me to make content to help you with your specific needs, to give you the knowledge that's going to help you to be able to be either a better technician or just to help you with your project, then definitely click that join button and become a member. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Homeowners. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.